And you'll see the King's Capital specializes in demolition, large building construction, excavation and site work. This place was built uh, probably back in the early 70s and as time went on uh, with the increased traffic and, and shopping it just wasn't uh, as attractive as it used to be. So we were hired to come in here and give the place a new look. It's an extensive project. We gave the whole place a facelift and an upgrade with better traffic flow which makes it easier for people to shop. Welcome home. You've worked hard. Now the peace and privacy you deserve awaits you. Welcome to one of the nation's most distinguished properties, Devonshire, where serene beauty and captivating vistas unfold in every direction, exclusive and vast. This timeless Georgian manor has been home to members of America's most prominent families, such as the Harrimans and the Vanderbilts, for generations. The architecture is quintessentially English, complete with the classical and resplendent detail seen in the great country houses of the era. Surround yourself with the opulence of the Gilded Age. Antique fireplaces, handcrafted oak paneling, ornate moldings, carved woodwork, and a grand staircase capped by a domed skylight attributed to Tiffany and Company. Welcome to Northshire, a remarkable Georgian manor, one that would be equally at home in the English countryside as it is in the rolling landscape of northern Westchester County. The story of Northshire begins in 1934 when Woolworth heir Richard W. Woolworth commissioned famed society architect Mott B. Schmidt to build his country house. Schmidt, a favorite of the Vanderbilts, Astors, and Rockefellers, created a magnificent country estate that enjoys complete privacy in tranquil North Salem. The beauty of the majestic brick exterior is matched only by the breathtaking interiors. After a five-year renovation, every room of the house has been restored beyond its original splendor. The formal rooms are exquisite. Refined detailing and beautiful windows all around. 
The beauty of the oak paneled library had been hidden under layers of paint for years before it was uncovered, while the formerly small kitchen was transformed into a dazzling space that flows easily into the breakfast room. What I like most about this town is it really hasn't changed that much. And if you see pictures of the business district from 50 years ago, you're going to see it has changed very little, which is nice. We don't have the flashing signs. It's, it's still a quaint town. Mm -hmm. 